what's going on everybody welcome back to the channel today we are taking a look at some aew wrestling figures well, i guess one figure and an accessory pack uh, i picked these guys up in my toy hunt if you guys didn't check my toy hunt video out make sure to check that i'll uh, link it in the description below but i did find these two items at walmart i um, was very happy to find uh this accessory pack i haven't seen it in the wild yet so it was cool a nice little surprise um, also, I bought this Kenny Omega because I just I didn't have this version and those pants look really sick. So we are going to start off with the accessory pack, then we will open up Kenny Omega. So let's get into this barbed wire accessory pack. All right, so here is the action pack, as they call it up here. Um, I would just call it the barbed wire action pack, but I guess they just put action pack. Whatever, not a big deal. Uh, it looks nice in the box. Um, I didn't even notice on the shelf there was another accessory pack with like a barrel and a ladder. I kind of wish I got that one too, but honestly this one looked way cooler. So um, accessories look nicely packed in there. Uh, we got some look at the box here. On the back we have uh, Moxley vs Omega from Full Gear. Um, what a crazy match that was. Um, if that's the one with the exploding barbed wire match, then yeah, the finish was a little botched, but other than that, the match was pretty sick. Uh, but yeah, cool packaging. Let's uh, crack it open and get a closer look. All right, guys, so here is the accessory pack unboxed. Um, we did have a bunch of these little wire pieces on the back of the cardboard, so I guess these are for um, this, uh, this platform right here. But we are gonna start off looking at this uh, chair and it looks pretty cool man i'm liking it i'm digging it um maybe the barbed wire could have been a little shinier but other than that it's looking it's looking pretty good man i'm digging it it's cool to have different style weapons for my wrestling figures so definitely going to be uh putting this in someone's hand on the shelf i don't know who yet but awesome chair i think it's the exact same chair we've seen before it came with like Pac, and i think uh i don't remember who else came with the chair to be honest but Looks to be the same, they just wrapped some barbed wire around it. Looks good, looks really good. Um, next we have the barbed wire broom. Um, I believe Kenny Omega came to the ring with this. Um, just awesome looking, man, like what a weapon. Who would have thought a barbed wire broom, right? Like I never, never would have thought to see one of those. Um, it could have been used back in the day, maybe an ECW, but I never really watched ECW because I was just too young at the time, but that is definitely cool, man. That is cool. Definitely going to be putting that in Omega's hand. Uh, what else do we got here? We have the barbed wire baseball bat. Um, pretty crazy. Uh, I think Moxley came to the ring with this once or twice, maybe for this match. Um, or not this match, but, but this match, which this uh, accessory is based off of. Um, but yeah, it looks cool, man. Again, with the barbed wire, maybe it could have been a little more shiny, but it still looks cool, man. Like, the only thing really missing from all these accessories is just some blood stains, really. But, I mean, you can just do that yourself. But it, it looks good, man. I might have to put some blood stains on some of these weapons. Uh, the last thing we get is a chain. Uh, I believe this is just for, like, choking someone or something. Um, it's glued together right here, so you can't fully separate it. So it is in this pose only i guess so uh not too bad it's nice and shiny though i like how the chain has a nice shine to it unlike the wire um but it looks good man i'm digging it i don't uh, you can wrap this around a wrestler's neck uh, we'll bring in a wrestler to, from the side here we got john moxley right here if you wanted to have kenny omega or someone choking him you could do that so that's cool um, always cool to have more accessories like that so that's a nice one and we got the I guess the barbed wire bed frame, I guess you can call it. <laughs> um, very cool. Uh, I remember when Moxley, I guess it's on the back of the box. You saw um, Moxley suplex Omega onto this. and Oh man, that would just look so painful. Like imagine landing in a bunch of barbed wire wrapped around this. Like, wow. Um, we are going to pause a sec while I open these up and throw them on here. And then we'll uh, see what it looks like with all the barbed wire attached. All right, guys, so here is all the barbed wire attached to the frame. Um, the barbed wire is very pliable and very flexible, so you can really put it on however you want. Um, this was just a really quick way to do it. Um, 
you like really it, all the barbed wire come with these like little hooks as you can see there there's like a little hook so you can really just hook it onto another piece or hook it onto the metal underneath you can really do whatever you want which is awesome um, awesome accessory um, I don't think WWE have ever made uh, anything like this before I think they've had barbed wire uh, accessories and all that but I don't think they've ever made this um, so this was really cool so like if you really wanted to um, I'm not a guy that plays with my figures really I might like you know pose them here and there and stuff on the shelf I never really do moves and stuff with them but um, if you wanted to I mean you could have Mox here give Kenny Omega that suplex right onto the barbed wire there and he's screaming in pain so that looks cool man awesome accessory to have especially if you're one that plays with your figures um i recommend it for sure i kind of do want to get the other accessory uh pack because they have the uh, the ladder and everything with it but we are going to throw this bat in moxley's hand just to see if he can hold it and his hand is a little loose i might have to grab another hand i think I don't know if he actually came with extra hands or not, but that sucks that he can't hold that bat. Can't hold it with that hand either. Might have to dig out some extra hands for uh, Moxley over here. But let's see. We got different hands for Omega too right now at the moment, so we can't really have him hold a weapon. Uh, maybe we can get the one in the, in the box that we're going to review right now. So let's get on to that Kenny Omega figure and uh, see what he's all about. All right, guys, so here is uh, Unmatched Series 1, Kenny Omega, looking nice in the package. I really I really dig the silver and blue, man. That really looks sick. The AW figure packaging is just amazing, in my opinion. I just, I don't know what it is. It's so awesome looking, and I don't know, it's the shine to it. Just, I don't know, it catches your eye. It's like the first thing that I see when I walk in the toy aisle. The first thing is, I see that shiny silver. Ooh, I get excited. Even the gold, too from Jazzwares. Good, good, uh, awesome display, uh, not display, awesome, uh, packaging from Jazzwares. Keep doing it. Um, maybe we'll see different colors down the line with the different, uh, uh, collections and stuff, but Kenny looking good in the box here. It's from his all out in 2020 pay-per-view. Uh, we do have all these figures except for the Cody Rhodes and the Darby Allen. Uh, I do have the Britt Baker, but I'm not I don't know if I'm going to open her up because there is a lot of other Britt Baker, Brit Bakers coming that look a lot better than this one. So I'm probably just going to keep that one in box. Uh, I could have gotten the LJN Cody, but I passed. I kind of wish I got it now, but at the same time, not really because, uh, I don't know, I'm not really an LJN guy. I mean, I had some as a kid. And they are mostly used as dog ch uh, chew toys. So, uh, yeah. <laughs> but anyways, there's uh, Kenny Omega there. Let's crack him out of the box and get a closer look. All right, here's Kenny Omega out of the packaging. And unfortunately, he doesn't really come with any accessories. He only comes with two interchangeable hands, open style, for smacking some people or doing some awesome poses, because that's what Kenny Omega, he just does these awesome poses, man. I don't know what it is. Uh, like this, his finger thing. I don't know. He's just so entertaining and just so, like, he's so toyetic too, I guess you can say. Like his gear is always awesome and flashy. Um, his hair is always different like I don't know he, he gets it man I can't wait to get that uh, supreme Kenny Omega but yeah he doesn't really come with anything uh, let's see if he can hold that broomstick and yeah he can I guess he can kind of he's got two open hands but I think they should have made the broomstick broom part or the stick part maybe a bit thicker but he can still hold it like that he can get him it he can get him holding it like that so that looks pretty good um not bad at all. So I guess you just need to get some more C-gripping hands uh, to, to make them hold the weapons better. But not bad, man. He looks good with that broom. I might have to pose him with that broom. Um, let's move the broom to the side. Let's get a closer look. Uh, the face scan looks really good. This kind of looks like uh, someone told Kenny Omega he wasn't the best in the world. And he was just like, what? Excuse me? What did you just say? <laughs> it's kind of like the look he has on his face. Um, I'm really digging the hair. The hair looks really nice. Um, just an overall nice looking figure. Paints, paint applications are very good on it. I'm not noticing anything out of uh, ordinary. 
Um, yeah, he looks good, man. The, the gear is really cool, too. I don't know. It looks like matte painted or something. I don't know. It looks weird, but it's still cool. It's not, like, shiny or anything. Like, his boots have a shine to it at the bottom, but I don't know. He looks good. Let's, uh, let's compare him to the, uh, other Kenny Omega here. Okay, so here is, I think, Series 3 Unrivaled Kenny Omega, or Series 4, I don't remember. Um, both excellent figures, man. They both have different expressions, too, so that was another reason I really wanted to pick this figure up, because, like, yeah, Kenny Omega's always kind of screaming and stuff, so it's nice to have a uh, I guess you can call it like a V trigger face. <laughs> uh, so it's nice to have this version. This version also comes with the vest too, which is nice. Um, I did pick up two versions of this one to keep in box one to open, but this one, man, I don't know the hair. I think the hair is on, is more on point on this one than this one. I think, but then again, they're from two different, uh, from two different like times he wore these outfits. Right. So it's another reason why I like Kenny. He changes his look around. I, lo I loved when he had those, uh, when he had that Lemmy uh, facial hair going. He looked he looked just like Triple H in uh, 03 or 04, whenever that was. So that was cool to see. Uh, he's probably paying homage, really. I mean, or maybe he hates Triple H and he's making fun of him. I don't know. But I thought it was cool. Uh, can't wait to get that figure when it comes out. But uh, yeah, there is uh, Kenny Omega. It looks like they use a lot of the same parts, even the, the boots. They're just painted differently, different designs. Uh, the pants look the same. But this is what I love about AEW Jazzwares figures. Like, let's let's do this for a sec. Let's pop this head off. Move it to the side. Let's pop this head off. Just want to go back on there. Let's see. Gotta do it off camera. Sorry. Oh, there we go. Boom. And now look at that. Now you have a Kenny Omega from the, with that head on different legs with the vest. Like I feel like Mattel's, you might have a you might have to stop yourself sometimes from buying the same character and figure over and over again. Uh, but with this, with the Jazzwares, you literally can buy multiple figures of the same character and swap out their attires, especially if you have like a pick fed and figure fed and all that. Um, let's try this head on this body. So just that feature alone, super A plus from uh, Jazzwares. Even that head doesn't look bad on this body either. Like that's that's still a good Kenny Omega too. Um, just awesome, man. I'm I'm totally digging these Jazzwares uh, wrestling figures. I have had a few that have had really gummy legs. Like my Hangman, Adam Page, uh, Scorpio Sky. I'm trying to think of another one. Uh, maybe my uh, Dustin Rhodes, I think, kind of has that effect, but not as bad. But this one doesn't have gummy legs at all, so that's a good sign. This one's good, too. But yeah, man, there's a Unmatched Series 1 Kenny Omega. What do you guys think? Um, do you guys have Kenny Omega Series 1? Um, should we bring Moxley in here for one last uh, height comparison? Because this John Moxley figure is a bit too tall. Just a little bit. Uh, doesn't break the figure. It's still a great figure in my opinion. But what do you guys think? Do um, you think we need more Kenny Omegas? Do you think Kenny Omegas Ultimate, or not Ultimate, I guess it's Supreme, is going to be worth it? I can't wait to get that. I'll definitely get that Supreme Kenny Omega. I think he comes with an extra pair of legs too. Like It's just nuts. So, huge shout out to Jazzwares and what they're doing. I'm loving it. I think the wrestling community is loving it. More figures. It's It was nice to see figures on the shelves at Walmart. Um, even if it is an older stock, it's still nice to see them stocking like the new guys and the fresh, the fresh stars of AEW, I guess you can say. But there's my review, guys. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Um, the accessory pack was awesome. Don't forget, we are giving doing a giveaway at 500 subscribers, so make sure to smash that subscribe button so we can give some toys away, and who knows, maybe we'll add some more figures to that giveaway coming closer to the, to the date. Most likely we will because I have so many toys that I don't need and I just want to give them away, but we got to get to 500 subscribers, so smash that subscribe, hit the like, share, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Thanks for watching, everybody.